Well, hey everybody, this is Shani with the Nostalgic Owl and I have a small haul for you. It's been a little bit hard lately. Um, I was on call last week and then we got hit, I am in Missouri, we got hit with um, some bad weather and I totaled our garage store. So, it has been, it has been a week been about a week and and um, I have thrifted very little but I had a couple bags set back that I hadn't gone gone through yet so I figured I would show you what I got and yeah so let's just jump into it so these are from two thrift stores and I will tell you what I paid for them and not very many items so this is probably going to be a short video but so here we go the first item is this um matilda and i think um it's a coal yep yeah, it's a coles cares so she originally went with uh, a book and she's in great shape um usually the coles cares plush does pretty well um, I'm, I'm hoping eight to $10 maybe, um, we shall see. I think maybe she had like a little mini book or something attached to her and she no longer has her. So, um, I don't know. I'll look it up. If I don't think I can profit anything, I might just throw it in my booth for a few dollars. And, um, yeah, so I paid, it was in a bag. I averaged out. So I believe it was 60 cents, I want to say, 67 cents, 67 cents for her. So there's that. My second item is this Harrods um, Buck Buckingham Palace little guard bear. Isn't he the cutest? <laughs> Look at his hat. Um, he has that Harrods on the bottom. The tag's in excellent shape. So someone probably got this maybe as a souvenir. Um, he's in excellent condition. I'm hoping around 10 to $12 for him. And I paid 67 cents for him as well. My next item is a pair of Ariat boot, uh, boot cut jeans for men. Um, they're the low rise boot. They're in excellent condition, like really excellent. This distressing, I think is probably a normal distressing dark wash. I paid $4 for these and they are a bigger size, 40 by 32. So um, I'm hoping I can get at least $30 for these. Um, Ariat's a great brand to watch out for if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, yeah, my son, this is what he likes to wear and um, they are expensive. So anyway, $4, not too bad. I'm hoping $30 to $40. And then that same store, I got um, some roundhouse overalls. For men, look at that. They look, they have not even been worn. You can tell. They're not even worn. Um, the size is a bigger size as well. Bigger sizes sometimes can can actually work in your favor. 42 by 30. So, um, yeah, they are like just in excellent, excellent condition. Um, I do not... I was looking at the stitching on the bottom thinking, oh, uh, maybe someone re-hemmed them. So I'll have to, I'll definitely rounder, shorter person, um, but I'll have to measure them and see. But otherwise, $4 and they look like brand new. They haven't been worn. So I was like, yes, please. And then went to another um, thrift store and got five items here. Two of these are the exact same thing. I love being able to get um, lots of the same thing. It's easy to list that way. You just put in the quantity. So these are Kelly Toy, brand new, my first bear rattles. I wish I would have had these for Christmas because they would have been great Christmas presents. 
I paid three dollars each. The comps on these um, are really anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars, from what I could see. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping to profit at least fifteen on these. But anyway, three dollars a piece, not bad. I found this in the jacket and coats which at this thrift store, um, you can put all the clothing in a bag for $10, except for the jackets and coats. And this was brand new Chico's. <clears throat> and when I looked it up, this is the Chenille um, Floral Jacquard Ruana Classic Navy. And it's um, a one size and it's, one of those cardigan shawl um, type things. And I, didn't, I don't see what it was originally. Um, it's no longer available on their website. And it does have this like chenille, isn't that pretty? So it was brand new with tag and I paid $4 for this. So I'm hoping 22 to $32. I'm hoping I can get that. I got a whole lot of vintage on on Oneida stainless steel. Um, I believe this is the Phoenix is when I looked it up. I believe it came back as Phoenix and I have a whole lot. I think there was like 17 pieces here. Um, so I ended up paying for all of it $4. So I'm hoping to get $20 to $30 for the set. Um, silverware does pretty good. I like picking it up, especially if you can get it for pretty cheap. Um, and then last piece I got was this van vintage bandage jar with a lid. Um, I paid $2 for this. Um, you can definitely tell it's vintage and I think, I really think it's, someone's going to swoop this up. Um, it would be kind of cool for your bathroom even, but anyway, I'm hoping, I didn't look at comps on this, but I'm hoping, you know, 15 to 20, somewhere in there. Um, and I paid $2 for it. So not bad. That's all the pieces I have for now. This is a short video, so I might try and add another video or so to it. Um, I'm trying to get up more than one video a week, um, but just with the snow and totaling my garage door. <laughs> and I already have a new garage door. Um, that company was super fast, so it's taken care of. But anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe and comment, and um, I'll see you next time.